Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to learn and understand solved example 12.9. It says that in figure 12.12, .12, that is this figure, R1 is 10 ohm, R2 is 40, R3 is 30, R4 is 20 and R5 is 60 ohm. Here R1, R2, R3, R4 and R5, 5 resistors are there into the circuit. Along with that, 12 volt battery, that is this, is connected to the arrangement. We have to calculate two things. That first is total resistance in the circuit and total current flowing in the circuit. So first of all, we have to identify what all resistors are in parallel and what all resistors are in series connection. So here, it is easy to identify that R1 and R2 are in parallel connection with each other. R3, R4 and R5 are in parallel connection with each other. But when you will open the loop over here, you can see that it is something like this. Whereas here R1 and R2 is there, in between emitter is there. And this unit, which consists of R3, R4 and R5, this unit and this unit, they both are in series connection with each other. So, when we are calculating combined resistance for R1 and R2, here we have to use parallel connection formula. When we are calculating combined resistance for this unit, that is for R3, R4 and R5, we have to use parallel connection formula. After that, they both are in series. So again, we will add them and we will find out the total resistance for the circuit. So let us first find out the combined resistance from R1 and R2. So here we are writing R dash for the first unit. So it is going to be 1 divided by R dash. It will give us 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2. Now the values for R1 and R2 are 10 and 40 ohm. So here I am going to write 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by 40. Here our LCM is 40. So 4 plus 1 divided by 40. It will give us 5 divided by 40 equals to 1 divided by 8. And this is going to be 1 divided by R dash. Now if we are taking reciprocal towards both sides, it will give us R dash equals to 8 ohm. So from first unit, we got this much resistance. Similarly, for the second unit, that I am going to call R double dash equals to 1 divided by R double dash. It will give us 1 divided by R3 plus 1 divided by R4 plus 1 divided by R5. Why we are using this formula? Because they all three are in parallel connection. Now let us in put all the values that first is 1 divided by 30 plus 1 divided by 20 plus 1 divided by 60. Here LCM is 60. So I am going to write 2 plus 3 plus 1 divided by 60. It will give me 6 divided by 60 equals to 1 divided by 10. So if I am taking reciprocal at both the side, I will get R double dash equals to 10 ohm. So value for the resistance from this unit that I got 10 ohm. Now as I have discussed earlier, this unit and this unit are in series with each other. So when we are finding out combined resistance, It is going to be R dash plus R double dash because they both are in series. So here I will get 10 plus 8 equals to 18 ohm. So combined resistance will be 18 ohm because R dash and R double dash are in series connection with each other. Now we have to find out total current from the circuit. When we are checking the total current from the circuit, we have to use combined resistance. Total current which is passing from the circuit will be V equals to IR. So here as a value for R, we are going to take 18 ohm which we have just found out as combined resistance. So V equals to 12 volt, we know. 
I we need to find out and R equals to 18 ohm that we found out. So I equals to 12 divided by 18. We can divide with 6 that 6 2s are 12 and 6 3s are 18. So it will give us 2 divided by 3 and it will give us 0.67 ampere. So this is value for the combined current which is flowing from the circuit. If we want to find out individual current which is producing through each and every resistor then we have to take here value R1, R2, R3, R5 and similarly for each and every resistor. Then we will get 5 different ones that I1, I2, I3, I4 and I5. That values will differ as the current is passing from all the different individual resistors. So if you are finding individual current which is passing from individual resistor that at that time you have to take value for that particular resistor. If I am taking the value for I1 which is passing from resistor R1 at that time I am going to use R1 equals to 10 ohm which have been given into the question. So when I am using this value along with this volt at that time I will get current value which is producing through this resistance whose value is 10 ohm. But here I have to find out combined current. So that's why I have used here combined resistance. Individual current, individual resistance. Combined current, combined resistance. And combined resistance you can find out from parallel connection and series connection. So hope this video has cleared your doubt. In coming segment, we are going to discuss many more important concepts. So don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing.